Welcome, Cider Explorers! My name is Edward Gibbons Brown, and I live inside of your cider can. I know that might sound a little weird, some dude living inside your cider, but don't worry, utilities are included. If you're anything like me, you take a lot of naps, like maybe too many naps. But if you are like me, you also love a good cider cocktail. Lucky us, that's exactly what we're about to make. Let's dive right in. We are making a cocktail today with Sweet Mirage. A guava kiwi sake cider from the Spring Book of Nomad series, which tells the story of the ongoing adventures of Nomad and Dog. If you haven't read the chapter yet, go ahead and check it out in this beautiful comic book you'll find inside your box. We find Nomad and Dog in the garden world of Anthea, where everyone is tripping on hallucinogenic pollen and refusing to wear their masks. That last part is a little too real. Inspired by exotic teas, Asian fruit, and sake, this cider starts with the fruity esters of a sake a yeast strain fermented with cider and Asian fruit and aged with tea leaves, dried fruit, and citrus. Let's crack this bad boy open and give it a try. That tastes like a guava popsicle, like a tropical starburst, like yuzu marmalade, like a Tahitian lagoon, like a unicorn in a sunbeam, like a leprechaun's breakfast on a planet where breakfast is sex. It tastes like if a rainbow was a hug and that hug was an apple and that apple was made into a cider. It tastes like if a non sequitur was chipmunk bagels. It's also dry and not too tart, which is perfect for me. There's a lot of complexity here, but it's totally crushable much like myself. Today's cocktail is a little weird, also like myself. We're going to be combining some flavors that you wouldn't think would go together, but actually taste great. These days, chefs and bartenders are finding innovative flavor pairings based on groundbreaking research into the chemical composition of ingredients and molecular commonalities that... Nerd! Sorry. Weird combos, awesome results. I call this cocktail the odd couple. Let's start with a cucumber and some golden raisins. I told you we were getting weird with it. Throw some raisins in the bottom of your glass. Just about like that many. You'll also want to peel and slice your cucumber, but I don't have that kind of time, so I'm just gonna do it by magic. We'll add half an ounce or one tablespoon of honey. I like to mix it with a little hot water to make it easier to work with. Next, two dashes of Peychaud's bitters. You can find these in your local grocery store. A half an ounce or one tablespoon of lychee liqueur. Lychee is a sweet and tart Asian fruit that tastes like a combination of grape, pear, watermelon, and strawberry. You can usually find lychee liqueur in your larger, well-stocked high-end liquor stores. If you don't want to spend your whole day hunting for it, though, feel free to substitute a different sweet, non-citrus fruit liqueur, like peach, strawberry, banana, or pineapple. If you don't have any of those, vanilla liqueur would also be tasty in this drink. It's your cocktail. Play around with it. Finally, half an ounce or one tablespoon of booze. Gin is perfect for this cocktail, but it's not always everyone's cup of tea, so feel free to substitute rum, bourbon, or vodka. We're gonna muddle the cucumber and raisins together with the rest of the cocktail, like so. And I like to strain this out into a fresh glass, because I don't want to chew my drink. Ice. Top it off with Sweet Mirage. And there you have it, The Odd Couple. See you next month, and cheers, Cider Explorers.